Hello. Today, let's discuss the concept of persistent storage files. Android provides many kinds of storage for applications to store their data. These storage places are shared preferences internal and external storage, SQLite storage and storage through the network connection. Android uses a file system that's similar to disk-based file systems on other platforms. The system has several options to save our app data as follows. Next, app-specific storage. Store files that are meant for your apps We only use the directories within internal storage to save sensitive information that other apps shouldn't access. Shared storage. Store files that your app intends to share with other apps including media documents and other files. Next, preferences. Store file private. Primitive data and key value pairs. Databases. Store structured data in a private database using the room persistence library. Next is app specific files. 1. Internal storage directories. These directories include both a dedicated location for storing persistent files and another location for storing cached data. The system prevents other apps from accessing these locations and on Android 10 API level 129 and higher. These locations are encrypted. 2. External storage directories. These directories include both a dedicated location for storing persistent files and another location for storing cache data. Although another app can access these directories if that app has the proper permissions, then the files stored in these directories are meant for use only by your app. If you specifically intend to create your files that other apps should be able to access, your app should store these files in the shared storage path of external storage instead. 3. Verify that storage is available in external storage, as external storage resides on a physical volume that the user might be able to remove. Verify that the volume is accessible before trying to read the app. Whenever the developer wants to write the data he can write it. By using external storage, specific data from or write app specific data to external storage and you can query the volume state by calling environment.getExternalStorageState function. If the return state is a media mounted, then you can read and write specific files with external storage. If it's a media mounted read only, you can only read these files. For example one, this first main example checks the volume contains the external storage for reading and writing. Next coming to the example two. This example two only checks the volume for only reading. Next, select a physical storage location in external storage. Sometimes, a device that allocates a partition of its internal memory as external storage also provides an SD card slot. This means that the device has multiple physical volumes that could contain external storage, so you need to select which one to use for your app-specific storage. To access the different locations, call context compact. Dot get external directors function. As shown in the code snippet the first element in the returned array is considered the primary external storage volume. Use this volume unless it's full or unavailable. Here, we will see code snippet for different location storage. Next, access persistent files in external storage. To access app-specific files from external storage we use. Next to create cache files and external storage. Code snippet is here. To remove cache files in external storage, we use external cache file.delete function. Next, media content in external storage. If your app works with the media files that provide value to the user only within your app, it's best to store them in app-specific directories within external storage as demonstrated in the following code snippet. Well, that's the end of today's topic. Along with the video explanations, we offer notes, mind maps, infographs and more to all the subjects from your syllabus, and also career guidance programs from current working IT professionals, and many more to our supporters. To join our supporters community, use the subscription link given below. For more topics from your syllabus, please visit our website given in the description. If you like the explanation, press the like button and rate us from 1 to 5 in the comments section below. For getting updates on any video we posted, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We will be back with another concept soon.